Hi, this is Mandy Wildman. Uh, welcome to the Vibrant Crafter channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. If it, this is your first time, hey. We are in a really critical situation here on planet Earth right now. It is March 22nd, 2020. Uh, there's a critical shortage of masks in the healthcare industry right now as we speak. So I started making masks um, for my local community and was overwhelmed with resp responses and requests for masks. So I decided to make this tutorial because I made a certain kind of a mask and I've made some modifications that make it just a little bit better. Uh, a little bit better than nothing. So here are my disclaimers. Obviously, this is a non-medical mask. In other words, it's not approved by anybody important. But the CDC just recently, the Centers for Disease Control, just recently put a sign up on their website saying, look, if you don't have anything else, use a bandana. Well, this is a lot better than a bandana. So here's the tutorial. I really hope it helps. I'll put some links below the video on YouTube and um, try not to swamp me with questions because I am making so many masks. <laughs> I'm kind of exhausted. You can tell I'm a bit punchy. But anyway, let's just get going. So for this project, you're going to need fabric scissors, thread, cotton fabric, half inch elastic, a ruler, and a pencil. So the first thing you're going to want to do, if you'd like to use a template, uh, you can get a piece of cardboard and cut it 6 inches by 9 inches. Next you're going to want to get some elastic. The elastic I have here is actually knicker elastic. It's underwear elastic. I've had it in my stash for a really, really long time and I have tons of it. It's nice and soft and stretchy so I'm using this for this project. But you can get regular half inch elastic. So you're going to want to cut the elastic into, um, each mask takes two pieces of set, roughly seven inch long elastic. The smaller piece you see there is for the nose, the elastic that goes over the nose, and that's about two to three inches. So what you're going to do is get some 100% cotton fabric. That's pretty important. 100% uh, cotton and you do want to pre-wash it because 100% cotton will shrink. So you want to pre-wash this fabric. The white fabric that I have is a flannel. It's nice and breathable, but it's also nice and soft. You can get these fabrics mm, sometimes at Walmart. I don't know. I have a giant stash of fabrics, so that's what I'm using. You could even use uh, old sheets and you can and just do two layers of the sheets if you want to. Uh, so long as it's 100% cotton, that's really important. Cut two pieces of fabric, six by nine. You're going to put them together, right sides together. Then you're going to take your elastic and you're going to pin it in each of the short sides. So you're going to pin one side of the seven inch elastic in one corner and then Go up to the other corner and pin the other end of the elastic there. After that, you're going to sew all the way around the edge, but leave a two inch gap because you're going to be turning it inside out. Once you've turned it inside out, you're going to have something that looks like this. Top stitch all the way around the outside edge. Next, you're going to make three pleats on each side of your mask. This is going to make the mask pretty thick and bulky, so when you go to sew it on your machine, you're going to need a needle designed for denim or thick fabrics. To make it extra strong, you can do two rows of stitching. So now your mask should look something like this. And this is where many of the tutorials kind of stop. But this mask, if you leave it like this, is going to gape open at the top by the nose and at the bottom by the chin. So I've got two quick but important modifications you can make to make the mask more snug around the face. Go ahead and fold the mask in half and make a mark one inch from the center fold with your invisible ink pen or even a pencil will work. Then on the other side, the fold side, make a mark two inches down. Next, go to your sewing machine and sew along that dart line. Make sure you make your uh, beginning and end nice and tight and secure. 
Now what you've got is a mask that has a chin pleat and it's going to sit nice and snugly around the chin like this. Next you're going to elasticate above the nose. To do this, fold your mask in half and make a mark at the center. Then make another mark two inches to the left and another mark two inches to the right. Now remember that little extra piece of elastic we had? This is where we're going to use it. Go to your sewing machine and place the elastic on the first mark. Put the needle down through the fabric, through the elastic and the fabric, and do a, forward, a quick forward and back stitch to really secure that elastic there. Now what you're going to do is stretch the elastic to its full capacity without breaking the needle and you're going to stitch down through the center mark all the way to the third mark. You're going to stitch it. Once you get to the third mark you're going to do a little forward and back stitch again to keep it secure and then cut the thread. Trim off any excess elastic and now your mask should look something like this. And guess what? You're all done. You finished a mask. You did a thing. Awesome. Give yourself a pat on the back. So the final thing we're going to talk about is delivery. Now up until this point, I really hope you've tried to create your mask in the cleanest possible conditions that you can. However, when it comes time to give your mask to somebody who needs it, it's obviously not going to be sanitized because you've been touching it. So what I do is I pop my masks into little Ziploc bags with a note, a piece of paper that says, wash me. And I make it pretty clear to the person receiving the mask that they need to wash the mask first before they use it. And that's it. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I really, really hope it helps. We're in a pretty dire emergency here right now as of March 22nd, 2020. And all I can say is, Stay safe, do everything you can to protect yourself and other people, and I'll see you on the other side.